important not to keep our guests waiting. So hello traders, thank you so much for being here. It is my pleasure to be here to present the power of alpha wave trader method. Method that based on pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits, pure and simple. But first, Please do spend time reading U.S. government required disclaimers that it is essential to trade with money you can't afford to lose. And it is very, very specific addressing everything that you need to know about risks involved in trading. As well as it is essential to recognize that everything I do, I do for educational purposes only. This webinar precisely to show the power of Alpha with Trader Method. And please do remember, when you review the performance, it is not indicative of future results. All result results are hypothetical. So, what makes Alpha Wave Trader Method so special? I use no software whatsoever, no indicators. I simply trade pure price for demonstration of Alpha Wave Trader Method in our trading room. Each and every trade I take, I enter using pure price structure and I exit using Fibonacci levels. So why do we do this? Because each and every indicator that I've ever used and each and every indicator that's designed is in fact lagging. It is not predicting how markets will behave in the future. When the price in fact does, price shows you the weakness, price shows you the strengths, price shows you when you should stay out of the market and when you should be excited about trading. Indicators do not do that. So let's take a look at the trade I had taken in our trading room on ES from 1681. What has happened on this trade on ES today? Pay attention to when price had reached danger zone levels. All of these levels are alpha wave trader proprietary Fibonacci levels. We teach you in the course how to apply them to pure price action. And as you could see, very far in advance when trade is entered, despite incredibly sluggish, boring and choppy market, price, it was very volatile move after dancing at decision point one, the end of the minor trend forever and ever and ever and ever. Price collapsed and found exhaustion at these levels as expected. And that's when reversal had been formed. And that's precisely why I chose the name Danger Zone Level. Because this is my trade exhaustion level. This is where you monitor for trade reversal. This is where you never, ever, ever, ever enter the position. I placed my trade at 1679.50 and as you could visit our YouTube channel, you can very, very clearly see how this trade had been performed and documented. And this magnificent reversal continued on after trading room closed. And that's the magic of pure price. It tells you very, very far in advance where the minor trend correction end will be and where trade exhaustion level will be, which is absolutely essential and critical to recognize when to expect your trade exhaustion and when to stay out. Will indicators tell you that far in advance? So, for example, MACDs, moving averages, I used to use them. I used to love them until Markets were stuck in ranging structure. So let's take a look on our guiding light ES and let me ask you a question. Let's analyze what had happened on our guiding light ES. This is where we opened our trading room this morning, correct? And I said, spelled out, price is heading to the end of the minor trend. I am not touching anything. Despite that, we had taken lovely two quick trades for one point. And then we monitored reversal and we got this lovely collapse to the downside. Pure and simple. 
Price tells you everything you need to know. Where to expect the minor trend reversals, which is very, very clearly you can see that the formula remains the same. It was exactly the same level on our 8th range chart. This is what I use as my guiding light, but this is exactly the same formula. ES8 range, which is S&P 500 future, or ES1 hour. The same exact formula applies to stocks weekly, monthly, to forex hourly. Whatever has price has alpha wave trader method. But the bottom line is, if you are using MACDs and you are getting into ranging markets, will MACDs show you when to expect market consolidation? Absolutely not. By the time you're supposed to take long, it shows you reverse and vice versa, but it is absolutely looks perfect if you look back on your charts. It is not a problem whatsoever because each and every indicator is lagging. So looking back, always looking fantastic, but in life trading, it's an entirely different story. So, in fact, indicators work on some instruments, some time frames, but not all instruments, not all time frames. So, this was me, this was my chart. Completely cluttered price action. When, in fact, if you have multiple indicators that are on your chart, what is happening even after years of trading? Do you learn anything about price? If you pay attention to, God knows what this is called, I don't even remember. It's been years since I looked at this. The volume, MACD, stochastics, moving averages, whatever it is. If a trader spends years with indicator, trader knows nothing about price, therefore having complete lack of market clarity, encountering multiple conflicting signals, which creates confusion and indecision, and encourages laziness. So trader sits and waits for signals, sits and waits for market to tell you what to do, versus having very clear and very analytical mind which is music to my ears when I hear graduates of the course who come to the press and say like today David B when we were looking at this brutal chop on the S he says okay I'm done I don't need to babysit this flop it was ultimate torture this structure and this is exactly what you must to respect this market structure when market is stuck in correction it's essential to recognize that and walk away from computer. In August, you will see a whole lot of corrections because August is one of the slowest months on record, the most dangerous time to trade. So if you know how to read pure price, you will know when to walk away from computer. So this is exactly what we do in our trading room. We analyze levels before taking any trade. We read what price is telling us and therefore if you pay attention to pure price you actually trade with clarity. You know when to be excited about powerful market formations. You know what uninhibited view of the market is. You have no conflicting signals. You learn how to trade with clear mic set and therefore you have clean and logical way to analyze the markets and the most essential component to all of this is simply price so I love 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 looking on various time frames so here's for example yes do you remember the under minor trend do you remember what we witnessed to the upside on hourly this is yes hourly this where yes collapsed from right but this is ES daily. This is where ES two days in a row staged quite a powerful reversal. So if you don't know where these levels are 
and you're taking short entry into this level, ouch, it's not a happy experience. But it's a credibly happy experience if you know how to read the price and take longs from this level when rules are met. That's what separates trader who knows how to trade pure price versus trader who waits and pay attention to lagging indicators. So daily chart, I like to use 1440 on Ninja because it gives me incredibly precise picture for all the levels I need to know. Daily chart spelled this out to me on July 19th, where these levels will be. And this is where we witnessed this phenomenal reversal last week. And this was incredibly fun trades we had taken in our trading room. So what makes all of these levels so precise? All of these levels are incredibly precise because of Fibonacci levels. Fibonacci levels is the most phenomenal and the most fascinating concept that surrounds, surrounds us in everything. It is in nature, in flowers, in trees, in waves, in dance, in the structure of human body, and it is in price. Leonardo Pisano discovered this and detailed this sequence which he named golden ratio. So how is this golden ratio calculated? It is quite incredible. These are the most significant numbers that create symmetry in everything including price. So if you add each subsequent number you will see very very clearly what, how powerful these numbers are. So in trading room for demonstration purposes I trade only Fibonacci numbers. On ES I trade the smallest number which is 5 8, 13, 21 range and as of a couple of weeks ago I started adding 15 minute and 1 hour chart because it doesn't matter what time frame at what instrument. On oil we take examples of trades on 8, 13, 21 range and 1 hour chart. But what magnificent and beautiful about this structure is all the stops and all the targets based on these ratios. Nothing is random. There is no random stops. There is no random targets. Everything is incredibly precise, which is absolutely essential in trading. Precision is a key. Simplicity is essential. It is not speculative, abstract, number. It is very, very clear and very, very defined. So here's a principle of alpha wave trader method. This is what's so critical. This is what defines everything that you need to know in price. And if you know how to identify the wave one, this is what spells out the power of the trend and this is what spells out the corrective structure which is wave 2 and wave 4. So if you prudent and con conservative trader you trade only the inception of the trend wave 1 and wave 3 and you stay out at the end of wave 3. And if you don't know where the end of wave 3 is and if you're entering anywhere at this levels you are entering at the end of minor trend into ultimate resistance level as you witness happen twice overnight and intramarket on ES. Know where this level is, know when to stay out, know where this brick wall resistance levels are that are based on Fibonacci numbers. So therefore this is prudent and conservative trading here and here. Aggressive trading here, here, and not knowing where the end of the trend is, is entering into ultimate brick walls. Let's take a look on S&P 500 future weekly chart. Spectacular magnificent trend had started in 2011, September. 
there was phenomenal buying opportunity on weekly chart at 1150 but pay attention to what happened when price had reached decision point one in April 2012 that was a fantastic shorting opportunity very very powerful reversal structure so if a position trader knows how to trade pure price you'll be trailing this very carefully and monitoring the formations because this was brutal reversal that went all the way from March all the way into mid-June that was a fantastic shorting opportunity there would be no need to stay through this painful reversal if you know how to read pure price and Magnificent Rally picked up this team and let's see what happened as all of these levels had been drawn in June 2011 and we're still monitoring and reviewing them in our trading room what has happened when price had reached the end of the major trend gave us reversal once again and where is ES struggling so immensely currently again it's danger zone levels acquiring long position anywhere here is very aggressive it is simply a pullback currently it is simply weakness but this is how critical and essential it is to know this acquiring long positions anywhere at these levels is very very aggressive thing to do it was incredibly prudent and incredibly conservative if you trade weekly chart to acquire the position very long time ago here exhaustion levels here danger zone very powerful pullbacks very powerful reversals corrections anything possible that's why it is named danger zone do I see any signs of reversal here no absolutely not this is correction this is fluff this is meaningless this is not impressive but this is potentially danger zone dance so reversal may set up eventually but it could chop through entire months of August as I do expect August to be very very choppy and very very corrective it is absolutely critical to recognize when to stay out of the market and when to monitor formations and yes weekly chart is spelling out bullish trend exhausted pay attention and if you know how to read the price you would know if powerful buying opportunity will present itself or if correction will continue so there we go this is typical classical structure this is how I see the price this is how I developed the method powerful magnificent five waves one two three is a beauty four corrective and five this is magic it's simple major trend five waves minor trend threes so pay attention to what happens if you're entering at the end of wave three in danger zone levels ouch and if you think you're rising magnificent spectacular bullish trend and you're entering anywhere here it's because prices at the exhaustion levels it's simply one very very last push before massive reversal and that's exactly why it's named danger zone levels because at any moment spectacular reversal will start so what happens when markets range price still there Fibonacci levels still there except formations are incredibly small incredibly minor therefore exactly why our students and those who graduated from alpha wave trader course when market is forming very small and very minor corrections it's simply essential to recognize that and to walk away from computer babysitting corrections babysitting small ranging markets is excruciating that's when traders psychology and traders confidence is at the most fragile time because if trader tried to trade corrective structure small formations using indicators ouch 
torturous and brutal. Most crucial thing, most important thing, is to know when ranging and corrective markets are present and to walk away from computer. This is a fun part. This is powerful formations, trending markets. They still respect Fibonacci levels highly. And this is what magical and this is what beautiful to catch powerful rights. And that's exactly what finally transpired on us today and happens all the time well so if you know how to trade trendy markets trendy markets on oil are present a lot more often than on s and p 500 so this is the most critical wave in the market structure wave three power magic it's always present even in corrective and minor trends It is exact same identical formula to the downside. So we are almost done with this presentation and I look forward to answering your questions. And I look forward to posting the link to the visit to our trading room. So this is very, very much typical five wave major trend structure, as you can see in front of you. Fantastic, right? But ouch, the end of wave three, no when to stay out, no when to monitor for reversals. Absolutely essential and absolutely critical. Crude oil, incredibly chappy very very unimpressive very very crooked structure but still ranging very much unimpressive market structure here's Google one minute magic magic classic five waves beautiful enjoy the ride wave one wave three stay out or recognize the fact that you are a super duper aggressive trader if you are trading corrective 2 and 4. So there we go. Simple, pure and clean. Pure price tells you trade entry. Pure price tells you when markets are corrective in minor trend or very very powerful structure. If you learn how to apply properly Fibonacci techniques you know exactly where to take profits of the table. Therefore, you learn how to trade your price using no software, no indicators, and therefore, you are capable of trading any market in any time frame. Therefore, pure price shows you and defines wave formations which are very clean and very simple. Minor trend, one, two, three, Major trend one, two, three, four, five. Pure price is what defines wave terminations by applying Fibonacci levels. And this is what forms Fibonacci price waves. Therefore, this clean and simple formula defines high probability entries, high probability targets, and shows you areas of inherent danger. At alphawavetrader.com we have three areas of interaction as you will witness in our trading room. So we have a live trading room which consists of also Alpha Wave Traders Club which is a graded room. So I run two, tra two rooms simultaneously. Here we discuss all of my trade questions. This is where our students migrate after mastering theory. And education classes conducted Monday, Wednesday after trading room closed and Friday 9.30 to 11.30 EST. Because Fridays we love to devote to education because it is quite a common knowledge that Friday is the most jittery day. So it is only prudent to devote your time to education versus 
trading jittery unpredictable markets so therefore in trading room I demonstrate alpha wave trader method on crude oil and S&P futures in education room Danny teaches all the precise rules in continued education room alpha wave traders club I answer all of the questions and we simply trade together and talk about each and every structure and as I had shown you earlier all the levels are absolutely essential and critical to identify prior to trading days and that's what I do each and every morning and this is what you can see on our YouTube channel and our blog because this is absolutely inherent to your trading success when I come to the trading room and price at danger zone levels it's essential to recognize and respect this and to monitor very very patiently for reversal structure so if market stock in corrective structure I spell out it gives me nothing exciting it is simply super duper aggressive structure so therefore please do respect that and that makes a world of difference yes everything demonstrated on S&P 500 the mini futures and crude oil futures with precise spelled out entry stop and target so there we go you learn how to trade pure price action how to pinpoint exact entry stops and targets how to take profits using correct Fibonacci application you learn how to trade a proven and all-encompassing methodology you develop skills practice skills and learn to trade with clarity so therefore this is the cutest thing that I learned from my students one of the students named after alpha wave trader course indicator detox course I learned so much I learned how much traders addicted to indicators even if they produce no results it's incredible dependency it's incredible addiction which is incredibly difficult to get rid of and I'm stunned that's why we made it number one rule when you come to the course remove all indicators if you want to learn how to trade pure price and once you do that you'll be amazed what happens so if one thing you learned here in this webinar I highly encourage you to start paying attention to pure price and if you spend thousands of hours reading pure price which is what it taken me to design the method you'll be amazed how magnificent and powerful pure price really is therefore if you know how to read pure price if you know how to apply Fibonacci levels you'll learn how to trade with independence confidence clarity and freedom cutest quote ever alpha wave trader method is brainware not, not a software by Steve S so recently we also started posting audio testimonies on our websites we have an open forum you can send me an email you can get in touch with graduates with students we have absolutely no secrets whatsoever I'm the luckiest girl in the world to do what I do and to have incredibly happy 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 community of traders so please do ask me questions I highly appreciate if you start with futures and then we migrate to stocks and to all right so fascinating fascinating structure on ES today ES had incredibly incredibly choppy 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 formations but the rally picked up this team and quite adorable and cute rally started at 12 EST pay attention to where it ended at the market close rally from 1678 first target an absolute reversal absolute chop price had danged between the levels and had struggled to break through this is again the same identical formula 
exact same level as you are seeing on ES Weekly. That's what it means, danger zone, bullish trend exhaustion level. And if you don't know where this level is, and you're acquiring long position anywhere here, ouch. Picture perfect example. Know when to stay out. Know when to take profits off the table. I highlighted multiple times, yes, daily already. So I will just highlight this to you once again. Decision point one had been reached to the downside. One CS will revisit 16.72 and a quarter. All the levels drawn on July 19th. It would be essential to monitor this level again. Please mark this level on your chart. This is the end of the minor trend. If you know how to read pure price, you will be able to determine if ES will finally blast through this level or you will have another phenomenal buying opportunity. But entering into this level is not a prudent thing to do. And once again, if this level is broken, Next level will be 1664.25. Therefore, learn how to trade between the levels, never into the levels. Daily chart first target. Short from 1690. 8 points. Oh, no, it's 18 points. Lovely. Second target, 1664 and a quarter. Danger zone, exhaustion level on this chart, 1652 and a quarter. And all it takes is four clean and precise rules to know where these levels are. Next question on futures, please, before I will migrate to um, Forex and to stocks. Once again, please do spell out the instrument and the time frame. Mike, CL, CL weekly, yearly. What are we looking at? Quickly, please, or I'm going to go to CL 5 minutes. I'm going to CL 5 minutes because there was no answer. All right, therefore, let's see what CL 5 minutes had done. How predictable. Oh, no. Bounce when Magnificent Short for 104.89 had reached this level. Danger zone dance and ultimate reversal at market close. Do I think it's anything spectacular, magnificent? Absolutely not. It's a fluff. It's not impressive. And why is oil doing this? Do you know why? Have you taken a look on oil weekly? What it's been telling you? If yes, you would completely expect this. Oil weekly, this is a range, pay attention. To the downside, when Oil Weekly had reached this level, price had staged monumental reversal. Oil reversed from decision point two. Currently, we have incredibly unimpressive formations. Tomorrow is an incredibly critical day because only 20% of the time price ends at decision point two. As you could see on Oil Bearish Trend, which was absolutely minor. This spectacular rally started from mid-April. Minor trend, the most critical level. To the upside, oil barely took a pause on weekly chart, but gave us quite a pullback at decision point two. So once again, Reversal happens only about 15 to 20 percent of the time max from this level. So it would be a shocker. Again, 15, 20 percent it's possible, but it's not common if oil will continue collapse. It's a fluff. It's very unimpressive. It's very, very choppy. But as you could see, very powerful short from 104.89 became incredibly exhausted when danger zone was reached as expected. YM377, my least favorite time frame is tick charts. I've never met anyone who succeeded trading tick charts. There is incredible danger with tick charts on data accuracy, incredibly challenging with over trading. So please do recognize that fact 
if you're trading tick charts limit drastically the number of trades taken because over trading is very much possible all right let's bring up ym have not looked on ym in forever gold five minutes excellent I will take one more question on futures, then I will be migrating to stocks and forex. Okay, gold, GC, where are you, gold? Gold liquidity is incredibly poor. It's essential to learn what you trade and what to expect. I'm trying to fight gold. We'll go on YM first, and again, if there is no time frame posted, I will be going to the first time frame that will pop up on the chart. All right, so let's go YM 277, tick 377. All right, YM tick chart, tick. 277, 377. Hmm. Well, very, very, very cute, very fruit, but what was my favorite structure based on what I'm looking at? Here it is. This is where it was. This was quite a lovely long that reversed from danger zone. Your long on YM was at 12.40. Very, very clear, very, very beautiful. But pay attention to what happened to this long when it came to the danger zone level. Then I had another fantastic opportunity to take a lovely, lovely, lovely short on YM from here to the tick magnificent reversal at the market close how adorable is that still gives me shivers looking at these charts and pay attention decision point one why i'm struggle two reversal and then eventual reversal from danger zone all right let's take a look on gold ninja is telling me that it's this contract so let's see what it is Nija is not giving me September contract on gold it still remains on August contract alright so let's take a look and let's see what gold had been telling us gold had incredibly powerful buying opportunity from 1329.7 level this is what I mentioned earlier, only 15-20% of the time trade ends at this level. Do you see that? Price had visited decision point 1, and decision point 2, and reversed. And highly possible, what we teach you in an education course, all of these levels, very, very critical, very, very essential. Utilization of your guiding light, larger time frame, and what it's telling you absolutely essential and absolutely critical all right so let's go to forex shall we and then we'll migrate to i have no idea what that means it's nothing based on alpha wave trader strategy when i have no idea what it means i can only look on aussie for hour and tell you what I see and what it means to me but I have no idea what that post means so first let's take a look on the first question James Euro USD one hour let's go on Euro USD one hour that looks fascinating right the data does not look pretty accurate, does it? Let's reload the data. All right, your USD one hour, spectacular, magnificent rally, very, very powerful, very, very beautiful. Started pretty early this morning. 
Shall we take a look and see where the rally had started? Is this clear what danger zone level is? Is this clear what we call in the course danger zone dense? Pay attention to what happened to decision point one. Pull back. Decision point two. Pull back. Danger zone. Expect very, very powerful reversals or corrections. Reversal is a good thing, correction is not. Is this clear? How critical it is to know when to stay out. This was definitely very, very much price screaming and yelling at trader. Don't touch me. Bullish trend is tired. This is nothing more but the bearish fluff. Is this clear? How critical it is to know what not to enter into. Danger zone levels are essential to your trading success. One of the most essential and critical components to know when to stay out. Not each and every moment you come to the markets, there is a trading opportunity. At least 30 to 40% of the time, market at exhaustion levels and corrective levels and that's essential and critical to respect next question was on no problem Bob AUD and ZD for our hold on one second please I don't have that loaded. I've never looked at a pair in my life. AUD and ZD. If anybody has questions about stocks, please let me know. We'll take a look at the stocks. All right, Forex. AUD and ZD. All right, we teach you everything in the class, how to set the charts and what matters. AUD and ZD for our chart. All right, so here's the 60 minute spectacular magnificent rally. Love, love, love what I'm seeing here. There we go. Take a look at this rally. Is this clear? What happened when price reached decision point one? What happened at the chop at decision point two? And this is a spread factor. This is a reminder. In Forex, don't ignore the spread. Absolutely critical. So, on that note, let's migrate to for our chart, shall we? For our chart, very, very powerful reversal started on July 17th. On July 17th, it was fantastic bearish opportunity. And this is what's happening currently with the price. It is chop, it is exhaustion, it is not impressive, it is a correction. What would be very, very interesting for me personally, if I would be trading this instrument, if price will reverse all the way back down to danger zone 3 again. Bearish trend is not over. It is highly, highly possible that danger zone 3 will be visited again. Buyers may show up as close as 11 for 10. I don't know anything about AUD and ZD. I've never looked at this chart in my life. I'm just telling you what the price is telling me currently. There is not enough buying power here showing very, very strong potential revisiting danger zone levels. AUD, JPY, daily. Lovely question. Love, young pairs. 
love, love, love he unbears. And so yes, if you know how to trade, what is it with forex pairs? Everything seems to be at exhaustion levels, right? Because you have to recognize that OC is related to OCN, OCN, NZD, New Zealand. Love New Zealand. Hike there. It's one of the best trips of my life. Highly recommend. If you like hiking, you want to go to New Zealand. My God. Never thought about this in years. So, thank you for reminding me. Magnificent country. So, there we go. What do I think about this? Nothing, nothing spectacular. Just a pullback. But potential signs of reversal. It's very, very initial steps of the bullish trend. At this levels, it's very, very critical to monitor the price and to see if four rules will be met before entry is taken. It is very promising what it is giving us currently. A lot more exciting than Aussie New Zealand dollar. But I just recognize that this is for our chart, not daily. Let's go to daily, shall we? You do recognize the fact that different different time frames, entirely different wave structure, correct? And because it's Ninja Trader, it gives me a lot more precise picture on minute charts. Do you see how much more cleaned up this is? So magnificent collapse on OCN had started in May. In May there was very, very powerful shorting opportunity. This is exactly where daily chart is, bouncing between the levels. Reminder, to not enter into the level. So, what will daily chart do next at this level? Very, very weak buying power, sellers still prevail. This is simply a corrective fluff. So, what is it telling me currently? It's telling me on a daily chart, it has incredibly strong potential of finally breaking through this level and continuing collapse to the next danger zone too. There is not enough buyers here. There is no meaning. Bears are still by far a lot more powerful. All right. So, do I have a question on stocks, guys? I'm losing my voice because I had been teaching so much today. So, please, give me a couple of, we already looked on gold. I just want to make sure if we have any questions on stocks. All right, question on AMCC. Not sure if I would have the data feed. If there is no other questions on stocks, I will migrate to Gold Daily. No problem whatsoever. And the name is AMCC Google. Absolutely have Google. AMCC. This is typical data feed. AMCC. Never looked at, never heard of. There is no AMCC here. All right, so let's pull Google. I have Google. Let's see what Google is telling us, shall we? So Google had formed incredibly powerful, fascinating bearish versus bullish formations. But buyers had prevailed all the way up till July 20th. July 20th, as of July 20th, sellers dominate this market. What am I seeing currently? I'm seeing currently if Google will blast through 865, the collapse will be spectacular, much further down. So let's measure these levels and let's see where Google showing potential heading to next, shall we? So once again, just wanted to highlight to you why Google reversed at this level, shall we? Because price had reached decision point two. So once again, 
Decision point one, the end of the minor trend. Decision point two, very, very rare. Only 20% of the time trends it here. What is this telling me? This is telling me that our bulls are pretty tired. This is telling me that bulls cannot even climb to the danger zone levels. So if 865 is broken to the downside, Google will collapse all the way to A20. A20. And this is where you should be monitoring the formations. If you know how to read these levels, maybe phenomenal buying opportunity. If bearish trend is minor, will be phenomenal buying opportunity here. If bearish trend is major, it will continue much further down. Decision point two, danger zone, and so on. That's how price moves between levels. KMP daily. Not sure if I have KMP daily. Since last time I personally traded stocks, it's been in forever. I don't look on any stocks unless somebody asks me a question. I highly encourage you concentrate with either stocks or forex or futures. Trading Everything is not a good idea. Apple. Apple coming up. Absolutely. KMP. Love, love, love looking on Apple. KMP. This is where discussion becomes actually incredibly interesting. This is what I have. I have KMX, KMB. I don't have KMP. So Apple daily coming up, have amazing options graduates, fantastic options graduates. Once you learn how to trade price, are you kidding me? It's magic. I wish I had an options brain. I get overwhelmed when I look on options grid. I'm totally jealous of options traders. So on that note, let's take a look on Apple, shall we? For a while I traded iron condors, but the option tables just not my thing. So it was very, very important that I finally recognized that. All right, let's reload the data. But I love, love, love. I have one of the most amazing graduates, Nicholas, who trades Alpha Wave Trader Method with phenomenal reports. One of the most incredible, fascinating students we've ever had. So, if you ever want to get in touch with any graduates, please send me an email. It's a free forum. I'll send your info out, and whoever wants to get in touch with you will get in touch. So, on that note, let's take a look on Apple, and let's analyze and see what has happened on Apple. How pure and simple can it be? Take a look. So, if you're a position trader, and if you know how to read pure price, Pay attention to this very powerful collapse from decision point two. Ouch! You would know not to take an entry into this level, correct? You had another very, very powerful buying opportunity between the levels. Buyers picked up the steam, blasted through the levels, and there we go. Phenomenal shorting opportunity at the danger zone level in May. Shall we measure that? We could just keep going. And that's how price moves in the same sequence, in the same pure, magnificent and beautiful pattern. Know where this level is. Know where to expect reversals. Know where decision point one, the end of the minor trend is. Your trading will be on an entirely different level. Know how to separate corrections from fluff. Know when to be excited about trend inception. If you apply patience and discipline and obey those four rules, the skies are the limit. But only you can make the decision if you are capable of obeying those simple four rules for pure price. There we go. Shows you where trend reversal is, 
shows you where to end inception is this was very very powerful buying opportunity on apple when apple finally reached danger zone 3 ultimate exhaustion so shall we measure this shall we see where apple is currently to the upside Apple still has plenty of space to decision point one. Ta-da! The end of the minor trend, guys. Please monitor the formations at 451.42. And please send me emails to see what you noticed when price reached that level. Break wall, the end of the minor trend. What is a prudent thing to do? Wait for a pullback. Position trading Apple monitors the structure very, very carefully because this is highly possible the end of the bullish trend. Because this is the most critical level in the market structure. Because we always have minor trend. We not always have major. And if trend is major, if pullback will be minor, then next level 471.04. Danger zone 501.23, ultimate exhaustion. That's all there is, pure and simple. So yes, I look forward to seeing you in Alpha Wave Trader trading room for the next two days. So here's the invitation for July 30th and 31. Please do remember, I believe in only trading three hours a day, 9.30 to 12.30 EST, and especially considering we're heading into summer. Be prepared, bring a lot of questions, because if markets are choppy, if markets are slow, if markets are torturous, I look forward to interactive discussions, and I look forward looking on any other instruments you like. DX daily, which is dollar index, correct? Very last question, and we are done. Look forward to seeing you at Alpha Wave Trader Room tomorrow. DX daily, US dollar. Interesting. I have not looked on US dollar in forever. I don't even remember the last time I looked on the US dollar. So it doesn't want to give me data. Is it on September contract? Done? What contract is it right now? I have no idea what it means. It's Ninja Trader. It's September contract? October. So that explains it. Hold on. Let's see if this would pull up and give me better structure. Where did dollar index go? Hello, mystery. Dollar index is gone. It's still giving me September contract. Why would that be? So I'm not getting any more data at the moment. I'm sorry. So perhaps if you come to the room tomorrow, let me... Hold on one second. Let's see what happened with this rally. And there we go. Exhaustion. Very, very powerful opportunity to short from danger zone levels. Very, very powerful bearish trend. We've gotten only a pullback all the way at danger zone level 3. And bearish trend continued. You had another shorting opportunity at 82 to the downside. From 82 to 81.3. So there we go, simple and pure, very, very clear and very, very defined and incredibly ignored pure price, not lagging. And that's all we teach in Alpha Wave Trader course. August is very challenging months to trade. Please do remember that.
It is absolutely fantastic time to learn. So guys, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. As you can see, an invitation to our trading room. Everybody sees that. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me. Do not hesitate to call me. Also, Danny is absolutely, absolutely the best instructor ever. I just received a phone call from one of the students telling me that. So, open forum. Any questions, always open to answer. 9.30 to 12.30 EST. So, please do come to the website. As you can see, everything is posted on our website at alphawavetrader.com. So have a fantastic evening, everybody. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. Here's the website. There is a lot of information on the website. There is a lot of questions. This is an article I wrote that I highly recommend you would read if you intend to become a serious, a serious and prudent trader. So thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Francesco, Bob, Christy, James, Don. Thank you, Adderemi. What a fantastic name. My pleasure being here. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.